For the past five years, Republicans have held all five seats on the County Board of Supervisors. Ron Roberts was first elected to this district in 1994, and he's easily won every re-election. Now that he's termed out, Republicans and Democrats are fighting over who should replace him. First, let's go over what the County Board of Supervisors does. The biggest portion of its budget is in health and human services. That includes social welfare programs like Medi-Cal, food stamps, foster care, and mental health and addiction treatment. Another big portion of the county's budget is in public safety. That includes the county sheriff's department, which acts as the police force in much of the county, and the district attorney's office. The county board also has land use authority for the more than 500,000 people living outside the incorporated cities. This includes neighborhoods like like Spring Valley, Fallbrook, and Ramona. The county board can zone for housing or businesses, and it can approve or reject new development. County supervisors can also play big roles in infrastructure and transportation planning through their seats on the boards of Sandag and MTS. So who's running in District 4? One candidate is Nathan Fletcher. You know, there's this great line that said the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. I wish 20 years ago the county would have been doing a lot of the things that now we say they need to do. Fletcher is a Marine veteran and a former state assemblyman. He was a Republican in the assembly, then briefly became an independent. But he's been a Democrat for more than five years and has been fully embraced by his party, with endorsements from Governor Jerry Brown and former Vice President Joe Biden. He says the county needs change. Uh, but I think in this election, we have the opportunity to bring someone who has governing experience, who's shown legislatively we can tackle big, difficult issues and deliver solutions, who's shown that outside of office, whether it's helping mental health treatment for our veterans or our deported veterans, but who comes in with that energy and drive to say we're going to move in a more progressive direction and we're going to lead and we're going to work with the state and we're going to drive solutions in a meaningful and accountable way. And so I think that we need a new voice at the county and I think it's time uh, after the last 30 years that, that we really start moving our region in a different direction. I've been working in this county for 35 years. Bonnie Dumanis is the retired district attorney. She's a Republican and has been endorsed by Mayor Kevin Faulkner and District 4's current supervisor, Ron Roberts. But in a district where Democrats outnumber Republicans, she doesn't exactly advertise her party affiliation. She says she's got the professional and life experience to lead. I put myself through college. I put myself through law school. And I started out as a junior typist and rose through the ranks until I got to uh, the deputy DA. I was elected as a judge, and then I was elected as DA. And not only DA, but the first openly gay DA in the nation, and the first woman and openly gay DA here in San Diego. I've also been known as the most progressive in terms of criminal justice reform in the state of California. We have implemented and actually done bold programs. We started the first re-entry program. That is taking people from prison into the community and giving them services so they turn their life around. Now the evidence suggests Fletcher is the one to beat in this race. He won the most votes in the June primary and the county Democratic Party has spent more than a million dollars to help elect him. The county Republican Party has spent less than a fifth of that on Demanis. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.